Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Viore. I'm here with the curmudgeon. You know, um, I just decided to do a little early morning shopping. I need a few things, maybe uh, uh, a little bit of pancake mix, uh, a couple of, uh, you know, bars of soap, a few things like that. What about you? Do you want to do a little shopping? Well, I need some toilet paper. Wall cart. Looks like you got everybody awake. Oh yeah. I need some toilet paper and I want some decadent dark chocolate chip cookies. Boy, well, you want to come over here and start this baby so we can get to moving? Sure. Um, it looks like there's quite a few folks out here in the parking lot already this morning to shop and uh well since they're no longer open 24 hours this is what happened so yeah all right well i'm going to start this quest okay it has begun okay, of course that'll see. recreate all of the uh all of the customers that were You've already disposed of. Oh, that's all right. Well, we've got plenty of vehicles we could, um... Yeah, I think we're going to have to clear this whole parking lot, aren't we? Well, I bet we do. I bet that's necessary for the quest objective. Which is okay. It's all EXP. <laughs> Oh, oh, here comes Edgar. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm just kind of going it's around the outside of the parking lot, Doc. Wow. Yeah, good idea. I'm a Duke's boy. Uh -oh. a lot of attention here from the other customers. Maybe it's, uh,. I'll be the glad fact that when I'm uh, fully dressed. That could be it. You've got clothing on. Yeah. Just uh, stands out too much from the crowd there. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Bring back the old memories. I'm doing pretty good today, Buffy, on this uh, spear thing. That's not, I'm doing pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and grab yeah. this loot bag, and then I'm going to... Uh-oh, got a boy beating up a car over there. Watch out, Doc. Oh, yeah, I see him there. Yep. Happy girl's doing the same thing. Sure now she doesn't okay. have a head for the job. Well, so well, far, this experience with the, the, the uh, wall cart POI is... Pretty much completely resembled every experience that I've ever had at the real world Walmarts. Yeah. Um, Working there too, yeah. Okay, I guess this guy must be a local because he's not actually showing up and neither is the Karen. Yeah. Okay, so we, oh, Karen didn't die. She said, I'm going to get back up and come see you guys. All right, so well, we're going to continue on our normal routine, guys. We're not going to loot. We're going to get in here and do the thing so you guys can enjoy the enjoy it with us. Well, okay, there's one right there. Oh, there's more than one. Yeah, kind of reminds me of Walmart. I just had an encounter with a breeder, very friendly guy. Oh, nice guy, huh? Up close and personal, yeah. See those cookies up front? You want to ask him where they're at, or is it too late to ask him? Um, I think it might be too late. Did, did you bring uh, your wrench with you? We can get snowballs over here. We got two two uh, snow cone machines. I appreciate, I, absolutely. I'm never without the uh, the wrench. Oh, 
All right. All uh, right. Well, I'm going to take care of these. While you're wrenching. Uh oh, cop. Cop. Cop, yeah. Ouch. When um, to make me secure fire, but military armor. All right. I... A couple of fragiloids in the rest of the kind of locked in and. Uh... Okay, I know I wasted ammo there at Buffy, but I was getting kind of tired of those guys coming out of the back room. Uh, and there was uh, maintenance personnel in the ladies' restroom. They seem to have quieted down a bit. The section seems to be clear. There is um, evidently a that? giant. There's evidently a giant radiated uh, hog in the kitchen area. I don't know if this is the break room, but once <laughs> again, a, a giant radiated hog in, uh, looks like the break room or kitchen area um, that you might want to see before we attempt to uh, okay, well, hold on. neutralize him. I got a whole shitload of cops in there. Uh oh, you must have found the security guard area. Yeah, I think I did, Doc. Hold on, I... Yep, they're still coming. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's cops all over here. And... Radiated froggyloids and... Uh... Oh, my word. Wow, this place has more security than the usual Walmart. That neighborhood. Uh. Wow. They must have had a serious time. shoplifting problem here. I would say so. Well, I got. An intruder. Let me see if I can find you. I was going to go down around this side to make sure I've got all the police woke up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we'll, we'll come back to that little loot room corner here in a minute, friends. Let's go see the, the, the giant hog that the doctor's talking about. All right, it's down this way. Oh, it says bakery. Okay. Um, but take a look in the, the room there. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to be there. Wow, that was kind of creepy when you open that door and he's still standing right there. That's right. Well... We haven't cleared it, so we've missed something, Doc, haven't we? Well, I agree. Um, there may be roof. some additional targets on the roof. Might be. I was going to go back. I don't know how far I had gotten. Oh, it looks like we got a, a few bookcases here. That's kind of nice. The book? Yeah, this is the reading material section. There was a, looked like an electronic section there. Nice big pharmacy. Um... Yep, to read oh, yeah, register. The yeah. So pretty much the whole package here. Do you see I the roof access automotive. or automotive? Did you um, see a roof access? Well, let's uh, let's take a look around the perimeter on the outside. Well, there's a safe that we'll need to remember. Okay, oh, outside, yeah. outside. Gun okay, safe. let's go outside. There's I'm just a... guessing. I don't see any means of reaching uh, an upper level here in. Inside the building, but I'm guessing. All right, well, let's go on around the outside here. A ladder. 
Now, my Walmart, when I worked, we had accesses inside the building. One to the roof yeah. of the pharmacy, and I hear somebody somewhere, but I can't tell if that's a... Oh, yeah, there's... There's somebody somewhere around. Oh, here we go. Oh, there you go. And there's a ladder. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got a screamer. I don't see her. Maybe we've got okay. one. All right. Um, I wonder if she went oh. inside. Concerned that vultures might. Yeah, we've got folks up here. But. Uh, yeah, I. Uh, I'd love to see them uh, implement the, f the dismemberment feature for vultures like we have for the standard zombies, you know. Um, I'd love for the vultures to be vulnerable to such things as the removal of heads or wings. Mm -hmm. Watch them flop around on the ground trying to uh, sustain flight while dismembered I think that now, would be very course, pleasant uh, there's not enough near enough air conditioning units up here to to cool this efficiently for the associates to work or for the customers no. to be comfortable with. but then Walmart doesn't really care about that there where's that damn light today and I say that because I remember a time years ago when we went months in the summer without air conditioning because <laughs> They didn't think we needed it. Uh, yeah, about half the ACs went down. We didn't didn't have AC repair for months. Well, oh, did we finish it? Yeah, we finished it. We we did. I think that took care of it. Well, let's so, go uh, go back to the uh, main loot room area back here. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Yeah, she was dedicated. Yeah, she's beating on that beer cooler. Let's go see what we got over here in, in the big loot room, the big safe room. Oh, books. Got to get the books. Got to get the books. Yeah, I remember my last few years I worked at uh, in the receiving area. We lost our freaking heater in the middle of February. Cold as all get out. And it took weeks to get that damn thing re repaired. Wow. Oh, I tell you, I used to always say, I told my manager that time, I said, I bet you if the CEO lost the lost heating in his office, uh, it wouldn't take him weeks to get his damn furnace fixed. And, of course, he didn't think that was a very positive attitude from him. So. Okay, we're not going to talk about this, and uh, we're not going to come to another wall cart. <laughs> <laughs> Too many memories. Too huh? many memories. Lots of good friends. You know, things like that. Where was that safe that I told you I saw? Well, it was toward the front. I think it was in the guard uh, or the security office. Yeah, here it is right here, yeah. Right. Oh, even a okay. wall safe. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, let's see what I'm carrying here, friends. A bunch of stuff I don't care about. Okay, that one I need to read. Looks like I got a few for you, too. Oh, yeah, Tier yeah. Five hunting knife, for copy of shotgun weekly. Uh, maybe a book for you. Night Stalker, Volume 2. And then I'll take a look at the wall safe as well. Alright, I'm going to open up these boxes here and put your books in these boxes out front for customer service. Alright, so let me see what I got for you here. Ooh. Two cans of sham here and a secret recipe for shamway 
stew or stemway, whatever it is, the meat product. So that's good. All right, let me find where. All right, bookstore okay. box. Okay, you can finally make the um, fuel saver mod for us, Doc. Excellent. That'll be nice. All right, and I'll put the Night Stalker in that same box there. All right, good. Well, Doc, do you want to tell them all, all goodbye? We'll bring this one to an end. Well, I, yeah, I think it's about time. I'm headed to the self-checkout here. Um, I don't Me too. See it's any called cashiers. the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talk to you later. See everyone later. Thanks. Bye-bye. Right, Take care. Be safe out there. This is pretty cool. This reminds me of Walmart. Bye-bye.